Okay, so we'll go ahead and just work out some angles in this thing first to try and solve it. This is the week six cheat. Um, we know, we were told in question A, that theta equals five, to five degrees, which is here. Three like triangles, five degrees here as well. We know beta, again we're given it, it's 45 plus phi on two over here. 45 plus phi given in the question is 38 on two equals 64 degrees. We know that these two dashed lines here and here are at 90 degrees. So this angle in here has to be 85 degrees. Taking that theta value off. And it also means that this angle here equals 95 degrees. Okay, so down the bottom here we know that this dashed line and this dashed line are at 90 degrees to each other. So we can calculate this little angle in here that's not given. It's going to be beta 64 uh, from 90, which is 26 degrees. And top right angle, fairly simply, is 180 minus 95. Um, where am I? 26 minus 31. Which equals, I just calculated that, let me have a look, 31 equals 54 degrees. 54 degrees. So that's the uh, angles calculated for this problem. Okay, so next step is to calculate these three lengths I've marked in red, A, B and C. Let's go ahead and do it. It's all just trigonometry, straightforward. A equals 5 on cos 5, which equals, what is it, 5.019 metres. B, we get B from 5.019 on the sine 54 equals B on sine 31, just like triangles, goes down to B equals 3.195 metres. And similarly, C from 5.019 on sine 34, sine 54, sorry, equals C on sine 95. goes to C equals 6.180 metres. I'll write them in here, C equals 6.180, B equals 3.195, and A equals 5.019. And now we can work on the um, working out the weight of this wedge. Okay, to work out the weight of the wedge we need to know the area of this triangle we've drawn and for that we need to calculate H which I've shown here in red. And again, it's all just basic truth. H equals 5.019 uh, the length of the hypotenuse of the triangle times sine 31 degrees which down here at the bottom of the triangle is 5 plus 6 degrees goes to H equals just worked it out 2.585 metres and therefore the area equals a half times the base of the triangle which is C, which we calculated at 6.180 times the height of the triangle, which is 
0.585 meters we just calculated and the area equals 7.988 square meters so we now know the area of that thing we need to calculate the weight of it which is pretty simple again weight just equals the area 7.988 square meters times uh, what was gamma 15.2 kilonewtons per cubic meter and we're going to do it per meter run of wall so we just multiply it by one and that comes out to 121.42 kilonewtons per meter run of wall okay so um, you've been asked to solve this using graph paper and scale drawing I think as well as using trigonometry it's a bit hard for me to do it to, on graph paper to scale but you're just going to have to use a little bit of averted imagination here and I've made a bit of a start on it um, just run around on the bottom of that we know, we start, we know W it's 121.42 kilonewtons per metre run of the wall and the steps involved is, is draw a set of crosshairs down at the bottom here I've done them in dashed lines at the bottom of the W value um, draw the trial failure surface so in our case beta was, what, what was it, 45 plus 45, I forget what the, let's check it 45 plus 5 on 2 it was 45 uh, which is 64 degrees I've drawn in beta I'll put some circles around them and delete them I've drawn in beta here you do it to scale I haven't um, once you've got beta drawn in uh, draw in reference lines for, for sigma h and tau h so, so tau h is um, the, the, the shear force line where on this failure surface so we just continue that line through to pick up the, the shear force plane and sigma h is at 90 degrees to that line we then get uh, phi which we know from memory was uh, let me have a look here 38 degrees so uh, phi equals 38 degrees come back from the sigma line and draw this reference line right through which gives us the direction of the resultant frictional force okay the next step is to draw across here hairs up here at the top at the top of the W line the white line then come off those crosshairs at an angle there of theta um, it, it's actually uh, what is it again it's theta plus bear with me here for a minute it's theta 15 degrees so it's theta plus um, the, the angle that the result the um, PA is ap acting at in this case that's zero so let's go back there and if so in our case it's theta which equals five degrees and that's one of the first questions they asked in the where they, where they set the problem theta equals 5 and delta equals 0 so the offset of the resultant for PA is 0 so theta equals 5 and from that we can now scale off if I could scale you'll be able to scale off that value there if you draw it to scale and that should come to about 54 kilonewton meters we then do the same things it asks you for three different values the next one's for theta 
and d of 5 and delta equals 10. So that angle we come off at, I know it's not the scale, is 15 degrees. So that is 15 degrees. You can scale that off, it'll come to about 61 kilonewton meters. And the final one is um, theta equals 5 and delta equals 10. So that angle there is 25 degrees. And that would scale off at 49.5. meters and I know it's not like me I made a mistake here that previous one at 15 degrees should be 51 not 61 51 kilonewton meters so that's doing it to scale on graph paper you can also solve it using trigonometry and we'll do that next okay so solving the problem trigonometrically um, it's all just like triangles PA on sine geez, my eyes are getting bad 26 degrees equals 121.42 the weight divided by the sine of that angle which is um, 90 180 sorry 180 minus 26 minus 85 and that goes to PA goes to PA equals uh, 57 kilonewton meters uh, similarly you can solve PA that's for when when um, theta plus delta equals five degrees the first one we did in the <coughs> in the graphical solution for theta plus delta equals 15 degrees the second one PA comes out to be 54.2 kilonewton meters and for theta plus delta equals 25 degrees PA solves to 53 degrees 53 degrees 53 kilonewton meters so that's solving those same triangles um, that you scaled off at the top of the W line. That's solving them trigonometrically. And that's pretty much the answer to the question from memory. Um, yeah, wall friction is important. Soil resistance, the higher the value of delta the lesser is the active pressure agging on the wall and delta is that inclination of PA and wall friction can be increased by uh, during construction roughing up the wall which um, will, will help the problem will reduce it so that's the answer to this uh, week's tutorial or answers to this week's tutorial have a go at yourself the uh, the graphical method because if you can follow that, it uh, makes it easier to follow the second part, the trigonometric solution.